But it depends on the player, I guess. Banjo Kazooie like has no players. sauce. You cannot convince me he has sauce. Sonic has sauce. I, I know it's gonna sound cap, but Sonic has sauce. Three, two, you have to... one, I don't know. I, I I just know that there's always players that try to make their characters like look flashy in some way or like do interesting combos, even if it seems like the character just can't do that. So there's yeah. always someone out there. And then quick like, little update. Character. Quick little update for the YouTube VODs and for everybody watching at home later. Um, what ended up happening to get to Yanni versus Ape Man is Adamus DQ'd from Losers Finals. He just wanted to end his tournament a little bit early. And then same thing for Zenyu. He ended up DQing from Losers Quarterfinals. And that is how that gave Yanni essentially two buys to get the rematch against Ape Man from Winners Quarters. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Yanni uh, has a little bit more momentum going into this. I feel it, like it looked he might. really, it looked really bad for him in winners against Aven, man. I'm not sure what these upbees though are. Oh, oh, he's super dead. <laughs> I wonder if that's like his answer to get past like the gyro uh, wall of Ape man. Like he, I, I think that's first the... option up B or like the combination of the minecart. Oh my goodness, that could've been really bad. <laughs> Down killing him repeatedly into the gyro. The thing for Yanni is he has to be careful what uh, how his his vertical height with Ooh, minecart nice because if he goes for it at a very low vertical height, he will get hit by the gyro and that'll kick him out of the minecart. See, like that, he had, he had to go for like I couldn't tell if that was a full hop or not. I think that was a full hop because Steve has one of the lowest lowest um, jump ranges in the game. Huh, no back here from Ape Man. All right, Ape Man's gotta be careful. Yeah, I was gonna say, Yanni's got the gyro in play. Forward air, no down tilt? Okay. Good on Yanni to just escape that by jumping. Nice, build the fortress here, but Ape Man immediately getting over here with the gyro. He's in a position where he holds most of the stage now. Good on Ape Man to look for that positioning. Oh. Yeah, and then good stuff on Yanni too, stalling himself by trying to lay out blocks. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of shield pressure. Ooh. But the diamond, man. He gets the cross up with the fair, catches AB Man dropping shield. Well, this is kind of scary. AB Man can't really make too many mistakes because he's at that perfect percent to get combo by Steve. Okay. This sniped out of the my cart. Yeah, that up B from Steve doesn't have it as much in like as it seems it would have. Yeah. Up throw? Oh no, down throw for the mix up here. Oh nice. It is sound yeah, it is sound in city, so Ape Man didn't want to go for the up throw just yet without no platform extension. Okay. Yeah, oh. up there will do it. Yeah. Down smash has some has a lot of cooldown. Yeah, he needed to in that situation. He should just like take the time to uh, summon the crafting table next to him and then just get a new uh, material there. Yeah. Still pretty good lead though for Yanni. Like much better than the winners bracket side. Oh, but you know what Ape oh. Man does to lead Wait. strides. Yeah, that could have been really bad. He never. Really, really bad. Even if he doesn't have a lead, man, Ape Man will make one new one. Oh, oh they're down there. He crossed him up, and at the starting frames of downer, Ape Man opened up himself to get hit by Anvil. What a play from Yanni. Very good. <sighs> All right, chat. I'm going to be real with you guys. Game & Watch is not hype. Game & Watch is not hype. My hype. He has no sauce. Neither does Banjo. Both Banjo and Game & Watch have absolutely no sauce. The character does not have sauce. I'm sorry. Ready? I hate to break it to you guys. I've seen some Banjo players do cool stuff, but I don't know about Game & Watch. See, Strides, that's <laughs> where you're right. You said some Banjo players. Some. Game & Watch, definitely no sauce, bro. Character has absolutely no sauce, no drip, nothing. Character of bees out of shield, and that's the only sauce it gets. Three, two, 
Yeah, I just don't. This is the way that Game Watch works. Is it's like the way he gets so much damage off her of like reversal situations, right? Yeah, so it, he doesn't like. You don't really see the Game Watch just like going in and like you know doing all these crazy combos. It's like okay, you hit his shield, he upbeat. Now he does like sixty percent to you or something. Crazy. Exactly, yeah. or like or like you hit a, uh, you hit him. Sorry, you hit Game and Watch in the middle of forward air, and the bomb still goes off. Like it's all reversals. It's the character has absolutely no drip. Man, Yanni, yeah, he's really using that up beat very well. Like, Averman's thinking that he's open, but then he just like, I don't know if he called it auto cancel, but it's just very little lag. You know that animation when he lands on the ground looks like he's just completely vulnerable. He doesn't really get hit very often for doing. It. I know you also can edge cancel his up beat as well. To make okay. it a little bit faster. So far, so good for Ape Man, though. So good, for, yeah. And that was good on Ape Man. He went for the Z drop and the gyro, and then Nair to cover the roll against Yanni. If he tried to roll away from there or move away in general, this is a good get up attack from Ape Man too. Seeing the end lag from up smash. Yanni doing an excellent job, honestly, just building up time for himself to mine out materials. And stall himself from Ape Man. Even if he doesn't have a lead, it's still good to look for materials because you know how strong diamond weapons are. Yeah. Ape Man? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Nice. He didn't mash out fast enough. Like, he had the right mind, but. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, um, he hadn't gone for that forward smash yet. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Ape Man was expecting it. De yeah, most definitely. All right. Okay, this Yanni. is already pretty good opportunity for Yanni. Yeah. Yeah. He has just... some really good materials right now. Mm, and he had he really good materials. Jump, yeah. Yeah. Never forget, guys. Uh, even though gold makes your frame data faster on all the weapon moves, it'll burn out faster as well. So it has the lowest durability. Cross up. Yeah. Good on, good on Ape Man, even just to pull out some kind of potential threat, because Yanni might have gone for an auto shield up there. Oh, the knockback on that back air on Diamond Pickaxe. That was interesting. <laughs> Did he get back in the cart and hit him? That was yeah. weird. I didn't even know he could do that. Ooh, that was close for Ape Man. Yanni using the elytra to barely escape it. Oh, get out of that setup. Yep. This is oh, oh, the axe broke, man. That could have been a huge combo for Yanni. Oh, what a play. What a play from Ape Man. What a beautiful sequence. He Z dropped the gyro wow, to stop. Wow, and he got the kill. He Z yeah. dropped this gyro to stop the cart to pop Yanni upwards to get the aerial. That was beautiful. All right. Marth is not hyped because of RNG Tipper. Marth Tipper is more consistent as of the last like two patches. So Marth Tipper should feel much better. You're probably just not spacing it right. Marth definitely has sauce, but I hate his neutral in this game. That's just me. I miss when Marth had Smash 4 stuff where you could just jab and it would be worth it. In this game, Marth jab just feels like a blatant call out to stop spot dodges and nothing else. And even then, it's not that great. But I don't mean the character anymore, so. Anyways. Ape it Man up 1-1 one, oh, one against here, Yanni. Three, two, one, go! Oh, back on Kalos. Yeah, mm -hmm. def probably the best stage in this stage list for, uh, for Steve. We'll see, though. This is a kind of a matchup here where even though he gets more chances for iron Rao just has a lot of ways to hit steve from far away even when you know there's a bunch of space between them he's not going to be able to just mine super freely 
without having to deal with a gyro or a laser. Yeah, we're already seeing it. Like, Ava Man's not really letting him have any room to get Oof. materials that are really good for him right now. Yeah, what a oh. call. Oh, yeah, what a good opportunity. Yeah, very unsafe on shield there. Solid pressure, though. Good on Yanni to go for the roll and get out. Yeah, he's still got enough fuel to come back on the stage. Ape Man with an excellent neutral there. there. Getting Yanni as soon as he gets up. The way that Ape Man is treating this is very smart, too, because now he's much more mobile in the air. What if that would have been clean if he had gotten the forward after the Z drop gyro? Yeah, I think the. Oh, dang, that was a nice attempt from Yanni. But yeah, I think the arm rotor was true after that. The yeah. Second one for four air. Yeah. Probably would have killed, but it doesn't even matter because he's got that clean up smash anyway. And Ape Man lead. probably going to get the three stock here, if I'm being honest. Yeah, Yanni, he just can't get much of anything started. And Ape Man has not slowed down the aggression whatsoever. Every, every hit just like leads to so much for him right now. Nair call out? Okay. Ape Man on the line here. Sezen Gyro. Oh. Yanni slips through the cracks here as Ape Man radius laser. You gotta watch on the spot dodge. Ah, always pay attention that Minecart is an active hitbox as long as it's on. All right, no three stock, but still really, really bad position to be in. Speak and, of the devil. Yeah, he's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Super dominant game for Abit Man. Even on probably uh, Yanni's best counter pick, he can go on. Smash 4 meta was not hype. I hate to tell you guys. I don't know why we played a two stock game for Smash 4. Everyone's like, the game is too slow. And then I had to look at like Luigi who killed you at any percent. Bayo who could literally rob your stocks. Cloud who can up air you to death. Mario that combos you whenever he wants to. Smash 4 should have not have been a two stock game. I don't know why it was. Yeah. Two stocks. Two I think it was Smash just because of, was... um, it was just because, uh, For Glory, right? Like, yeah, it was, it was For the Glory. Default, the default rule set for For Glory. And so even I think then... the reason was, it was like, well, people are, who are playing this game from For Glory, like, they're just all used to playing two stocks, so it will be really strange for them to go to a tournament and suddenly everyone's playing three stocks. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it just I wasn't. Mean, I think that was the reason. That was that was and the main reason. It, yeah, and then people also just thought the game was like really slow or something. So, At the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, the early meta was very slow until we figured out ground Imagine combos. Imagine three stock customs with that one villager thing. Like oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Or the Sonic one. Like yeah, that would be horrible. Anyway, <laughs> Yanni's back on Kalos. Ava man. Ooh. Not having any real trouble on the counter pick, so I, I, he's fine with letting Steve come back to this place. Yeah, and Ape Man got an excellent jab reset there on the no tech against Yanni. Up smash is not going to be it though. Good call out the one Yanni trying to see if he was going to jump at him. Okay, Ape Man Yanni looking put, for a play. Yeah, Yanni put the blocks in a way that like if you baited Ape Man to jump, he could just end the air up smash him. But yeah, I think Ape Man was aware of that too. That's what I'm like about Yanni and this block play that he's been going for. He sets it up in a position that he can actually anti-air Ape Man or have enough time to react. Oh. Yeah, that's no, he can recover, he can recover. It's Rob. I was just thinking of other characters that got, if they got put in that situation that would die. Oh. Namely Little Mac. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's always <laughs> Little Mac. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Yeah, let me just, let me just fly out of here. <laughs> I'm good. Or not. That up there, so active. And I always, I think Yanni is always just jumping one extra time too many in that situation, and he's just getting caught by that. Oh, no forward there, but the card follow up for itself here. Ooh, 
we're going for some crazy gyro plays. Yeah, actually, Yanni's, when he has control of the gyro, has just been using it very well. Oh, he can oh. use the gyro well. Avid man juggling this man to the heavens right now. Oh, that wasn't a safe up air on stage, but that air dodge gets punished super hard. Now, Avid man potentially one stock away from winning this tournament in a, what, fifth MSM? Yeah, because he has, this is also, uh, Ape Man has the most wins in an MSM. Either way, he has four wins, but this will make him five, which is still the most wins. Yeah. Not consecutive it's, wins, just in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ape Man, oh my goodness, is reading Yanni like a, a nursery rhyme, dude. Like, he literally read everything he wanted to do at the end there, completely running him over on that last stock. He literally read the Steve jumped over the stage and then I back at him. Good night.